catch me live! This is my streaming schedule for the week this video comes out. If you miss this window, check out my Twitter or my Twitch page to see the latest version. Maybe I'm streaming right now. On the bright side, maybe we get a lovely cutscene. A random, crazy, stupid cutscene. We'll see. If I knew I can come back. But that's boring. Fight with the Pikmin you got. I could easily just go back and farm 100 Pikmin and do everything in the game. That's not fun. You rebade the entire debt. What do we got? <gasps> Where'd she go? 10,000 memes, huh? Gee, it's kinda dark. You bring a light? No. Quality. Person reading, thank you very much. No immunity. No, oh, Christ, okay. Smash button, thank you. Smash, oh my lord. You know what, I'll keep quiet. I'll just let it do its thing. Dave, good job on the textures. Good job, people, on that script. Daniel Scuttle, Bug Bandy. Because. Ben. <laughs> Fuck. Good job, Ben. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot to read here, and I'm not keeping up with it. This is West Virginia, Bobby. sounding people. Copy. <laughs> the original credits. Oh, good to have that in there. Is this song this? Is it, is it this much of this? Streber, still alive. I'm aware that's this song. Did I say what's this song? Because I meant more the remix. Pikmin 933. Thank you for the follow. Colin, here is beautiful Bill James. One, two, oatmeal. Two hours. Sense simple clips is there. Also, one extra bit. In my okay. life. Mr. Blue, what happened in last stream? You should have been in my there. Life. I'll explain later. It's in the cage. They may want to read my six. rage. Sorry for interrupting the credits, but thank you for 95 bits. I didn't, I didn't see that earlier. Whoops. Anything else? No. We're caught up now. I'm having the intercourse with the goddamn act. Great! Go you! Dead. Fred. I can fly! You can fly! First try! Well, wasn't that fun. I would have liked to turn all these into thumbnails, but the second one didn't do as well as the first time I did that, so maybe not. Ah well. Okay, it's a bit longer than 10 hours and 18 minutes, considering all the save stating we did. Maybe I should have kept the resets. But yes, we'll go back. God damn. Oh, Megalovania! I don't know this Hello, one. Internet! 
And welcome to Sans Theory, the show where real world math meets real world Sans. Have you ever seen a character in a game and thought, man, I really think he knows more than he's letting on? Well, that's a perfect question that many a theorist must have asked when looking at Sans Gaming. He may even be considered by many to be one of the most mysterious characters in gaming as a whole. So let's see if we can answer a few questions about him today. Who is Sans Gaming? Where is Sans Gaming? And why is Sans gaming? Is it, well, the first movie? question is both a simple answer and a complex one. Sans gaming is obviously the main character of the hit game Undertale 2, Return of Jafar. But is that all there is to it? Is this the whole video? No. You see, if you measure the pixels in Sans gaming's profile picture, you get exactly 1,170. This equates to a whopping 6 feet 9 inches. That's a lot of gaming in one picture. But let's get back on track. Because of this measurement, we can clearly equate Sans Gaming to another protagonist in Undertale 2, Silent Hill, as the measurements exactly match this random picture of Silent Hill I found on the internet. Clearly, this evidence is rock solid and undeniable, so let's move on. Now that we know who he is, let's answer another question. Where is Sans Gaming? Well, I've compared the overworld of Undertale 2 to the maps of every single city on this goddamn planet, and I have come to the conclusion that he lives here right here in New York City, of these exact coordinates you see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we know the simple answers, who and where he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But theorists, I have a doozy of a question to answer next. Why is Sans gaming? Now, after doing research into the holy texts of countless religions, I have come to one simple conclusion that will blow everything you knew about Sans gaming out of the water. Sans isn't gaming at all. Now, bear with me for a moment. If you saw the last episode of Sans Theory, you'll remember that we already tackled religion for another theory. Mm -hmm. Click the little eye bubble up there to see that. Mm -hmm. But how does it apply here? Well, fellow theorists, I'll have to answer that in part two. Look, I've already covered so much here, a part two is going to be needed. So make sure you hit that notification bell and keep an eye out for that next video. But remember, that's just a theory. A Sans Theory! And cut! But that's film theory. But sure. Maybe it was film theory the whole time. But it was gaming. God damn it. Oh! It's Land of Werenberg! Or Werenzang? Zung? I can't remember how you pronounce that. I haven't done German in years. The Hey! Or just say The Hey. Better not be a swear word. Anyway, I had a couple bits to catch up on. Colin, one bit, what is this? It was educational. Gamer with 50 bits, dance for a challenge. Every time you switch Pikmin, you have to explain why the Pikmin look the way they do, aka why the icon looks like that. I can try. Uh, we'll see. Colin, one bit, why is this a thing? You didn't say where is this a thing, but oh well. We're gonna do some Picklepedia stuff, actually, because I need to. So. We have to have the game half crash on us. The decorated XD police. Is this a is this a Jontron reference? <sighs> you ready for this again? <laughs> this creature is the larval form of a beetle variant known for a diet consisting entirely of salt. A true vigilante. The XD police is oh XD gotcha. The XD police is ruthless, spitting out massive meme-seeking boulders and making rather. Oof noises. Oof. The boulders are somehow sentient. They always go for Scoob. I'm also caught in this <laughs> oofery as well. Thanks, Scoob. Although it makes me wonder, what the oof did Scoob do? <laughs> Good question. The Moo Oyster. Never saw them before, not even in the Oyster Cave. Oof off. Why does it have to <laughs> have an onion on its tail? This foxtail is not going to have anything new. Nope. No one appreciates the plants. And Mighty Pooh is not on here because we haven't killed him. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Guess we'll have to come back one day. I'll do a, a, a swooping stream where I finish everything.
Right, now I know for a fact that the Cavern of Chaos... We were gonna go back to the Valley of Mario's. Ah well, my title can be wrong. <laughs> but, um, Cavern of Chaos is broken. Good lord, Rosalina. What are you wearing now? What are we landing on? It's not Mario. It's not Donkey Kong. Is it from, like, WarioWare? Oh, it's Mario now! Ollie Mario! Zero Zoo Fox! Mario! Ollie Mario! <laughs> Mr. Ollie Mario, my eyes are on fire! You've arrived! My scans indicate this planet is still heavily laden with trash! I have a slight Irish twang to my voice. We shall make oof, fruit freight the golden indisputable king of deep space, long haul freight. Then everyone will be gaudily clad in gold like me. No, I am unique and beautiful. Yes. Are you Irish? Zero Suit Fox, I must ask that you tack extreme care so as to not insult or endanger our Ole Mario. For now, where could Scooby? Scoob be? Oh, that's a trip. To be stuck on an uncivilized planet with no food at all? Didn't pick up that point at all, but sure. <laughs> I am concerned. You must waste no time in finding him. <gasps> Shall do. Oh, it's the onion from WarioWare, isn't it? And you're wearing the frog, aren't you? Is that an anime girl? Am I seeing things? What is this music? Normal voice, huh? What is that whistle? That's the Mario tune. How themed. What is this? Some backwards Rayman or something? I could not fathom it. Well, there's a leg in, in something. Is it Furb? What are you saying? Life is... Oh, it's a, like a chicken thing? We've got emo emojis? Unicycles? Is it that boy? It's that... It's that boy dabbing fidget spinner emoji. Uh, whatever that thing's called. Segway. What a, what a trip. What a journey. What an inspiration. Okay. to know that not even the heroes are safe from this kind of people, but oh well. Okay, Mr. Blue, I see ya. Last stream, uh, we went to the perplexing pool, we finished the cow room. Then we went to the woods, the awakening woods, and we got decimated in both caves and gave up on both. So we came here to the, uh, we finished, we just finished that one of those caves, and as you can see, we gave up on that one too. So, there you go, you're caught up now. So demanding. Right, so the Cabinet of Chaos is broken. I'm told that by Untitled. Uh, he's probably gonna watch this one day, maybe, we'll see. If he does, I just wanted to say thank you for doing that. Let me know what's going on. Good to know we got all these pellets that are now gonna blockade the way. Why are these hitting? Thank you very much. We don't need to build up our numbers, really. But I guess we can do it anyway. Because we're right by a cave. Actually, we can only really do the one cave. I don't want to do the Louis cave. And so I guess I'm only going to do the Cabin of Chaos. Um, is this or not the Cabin of Chaos? How did you have 18? Oh, you had a... You had a... Oh, 
Okay, whoa. What is that? I do not know. Um, Colin, if you do like different cheers at a time, and then the next one, you get to 50, will you still be able to do a challenge? I guess, but I can't keep up with it. So I'd have to take your word for it. If you can do it all in one batch, it would be best. Wait! From all appearances, this is a particularly frightening crevice. The data is horrifying. Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Perhaps we should turn back? Well, if you still wish to enter, keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. What is it called? The Corn Harvest Cavern. The Corn Harvest Canyon. We will deal with that in a moment, I guess. But yeah, we only have the ability to uh, take on to take on one cave. And I guess we can also do some... Um, maybe that's not the onion. No, it's a really obvious or unfortunately detailed emoji. Excuse my obnoxiousness and thinking it was something way more simple. But, um, no. I don't know what I'm saying. We can only do one cave today, so we're only going to do one cave today. So I can take time to do one of the pets. Good stuff. What is this music? Can someone explain? Please no more. Thank you. 